Um, when the 9-11 Commission started its work, one of the first things Tom Skeen said was that they were not there to, quote, point fingers, end quote. Were you with the other family members expecting the 9-11 Commission to use their subpoena power and to hold people accountable for things like perjury? Yes, <laughs> we were. Um, we were very dismayed when we learned, because, to, you know, that was the point of the investigation was to sort of find out what had happened. And then, you know, if people had not done their jobs, they should have been reprimanded, fired, you know, whatever yep. whatever happened, because you really wouldn't want people that couldn't handle an event like that to stay in a position where they might have, you know, needed to make those kinds of decisions. So it didn't really make sense to, you know, keep people in those positions or promote them or, you know, whatever else if they really weren't able to handle the stress of that position. And um, so they should have been held accountable and they should have been demoted or fired or, you know, whatever else, you know, criminal behavior should have been punished. Um, and none of that happened. Right. And at the end of the 9-11 Commission, they said people all across the government are responsible and, and so forth, so we can't point fingers. And it was really ridiculous. Everyone's, I mean, when, everyone's responsible, therefore no one's responsible. It, exactly. Now, when Kristen testified before the Joint Congressional Inquiry, you know, making the argument for the need for an independent um, 9-11 Commission, she explicitly said that we need accountability, you know. And so, I mean, obviously, it, it just seems like that's what everybody was fighting for, and it never happened.